Does this have front end lift? Oops, sorry. It's my first day driving stick. guys, David Nussbaum at Wheels Boutique here. Today we have a beautiful BMW G80 M3. It is in the Isle of Man green, which is a spectacular color, especially in the sunlight here in Miami, Florida. This car belongs to none other than one of our fa most famous clients, I should say, Fish Whips. So make sure you go on Instagram, look up Fish Whips, and you'll see all of the cars that he's ever owned, all the cars we've ever done. Right now he has this car and a black gray black I should say, 992 Targa that we just had on our channel a couple weeks back. Make sure you check out that video because that car is phenomenal, has anarchy wheels, tech our body kit, the full nine. But back to this car, this car also has some anarchy wheels and I wanna talk about them just a little bit, specifically the fitment. Now, when we had our BMW M3 a couple years ago, we did a set of HRE wheels, I believe it was. It might've been anarchy wheels. Do you remember what they were, Marvin? HRE. HREs, or were they uh, S107 SEs? <laughs> was the one so it was a white bmw on hre s107 scs in that video if you go back to our catalog you will see me say that i really don't like the fitment that we did on the car and it all came down to the way that bmw was doing the wheel fitments for the car from factory so from factory this car comes with 19s in the front and 20s in the rear so naturally on our car we did 20s in the front and 21s in the rear the drawback with that is that the tire sizes that BMW chose to do was very thick profile in the front and then a very low profile in the rear. So when you looked at the car from the side, it had a weird stance to it. You had chunky tires in the front and th low profile thin tires in the rear. And that still was the case even on our car that did 20s in the front and 21s in the rear. So I said in the video, if there was somehow a way for us to create a new fitment for this car where we can minimize that drawback, then I would be all for it. And that's exactly what we've done here today. So right up front, we have 21s. And in the rear, we have 21s. So the front's gonna be a 21 by 10, in, uh, I believe it's a 10 inch wide. And the rear is gonna be a 21 by 11 and a half inch wide. So in the front tire is a 275, 25 profile, 21. And in the rear, we've got a 305, 25 profile again for the 21 inch wheel. So in my opinion, I'm gonna step away. I think that this is absolutely the best wheel fitment for the G80. M3 platform. And of course, you could apply this to the G82 M4. You could apply it to the M3 wagon if you live in Europe. Unfortunately, we don't get that car here, but it looks proportional. You got low profile front and rear, which is always the goal when you uh, are doing an aftermarket wheel and tire fitment for the car. For the wheel model, this is an Anarchy Retro Series wheel. It's called the RS1, and the finish is pretty, pretty cool. So it's a two-tone finish, even though you can't really tell uh, because the, the sun is shining on it so much, but the two tones that you have is a brushed silver 
and a polished silver. So on this actual spoke faces, you'll have brushed silver. And if you get up real close, you'll see the uniform brush strokes that are done by hand at Anarchy. And then in between each spokes or what people call the windows, that's going to be a polished silver. So everything is clear coated. You never have to repolish it on your own. The outer lip is also polished. And what I can tell that the inner barrel is also polished. So these are all upgraded finishes for the wheel. It's an upgraded finish, uh, which costs a little bit extra if you do this finish for the center. For the outer lip, it's actually free across all of Anarchy's three-piece wheel models. And for the inner barrel, it is an upgraded finish. Again, they've got to get these rim parts into a polishing tub that shakes the uh, aluminum parts around with some ceramic pebbles. And when it comes out of that tub, it looks like a, almost a mirror, a mirror polish finish or a chrome finish, which a lot of people get this confused for. But again, Anarchy doesn't offer chrome because number one, it's bad for the environment. Number two, it adds weight to the wheel, which is really unnecessary. You don't want to add weight to the unsprung mass of the car. So um, I love the way that this setup is. You also have to fine tune the suspension. We did a KW height adjustable spring. So it's really, really low. I can't even get a finger back here, which is how Fish Whips like it, likes it. And in the front, barely a finger again. So it looks extremely perfect, ex extremely proportional. The previous generation cars for this, so the F80 M3s and F M4s, that one we would usually do a 20 inch all the way around because the car came from with 19s all the way around in some cases. So again, you always kind of want to upsize and do a bigger size than what the car comes with from factory. In this case, we went up two inches in the front and one inch in the rear. So it looks really, really nice in my opinion. So before I let you guys go, I also want to introduce you to my new colleague, Kaylee, which is right off camera here, is going to come into a picture. She's going to help me out a whole ton with these YouTube videos and you're going to see her on our Instagram channel a lot as well to so be doing real so working with Marvin behind the camera working with myself in front of the camera and so what do you drive right now right now I drive a 1994 Nissan Silvia really badass I came to, to the office today and this was the first time I saw it and I was like it's got to be hers because I know that she is into the Japanese cars and tell her tell, tell the audience what your boyfriend drives he drives a Mazda Miata and he also drives an FD RX-7 which happens to be my favorite car, believe it or not, of all time because my father worked for Mazda for 20 years. So as a kid, I grew up around Miatas and RX-7s, the third gen, which is the FD. That is my absolute favorite. I wish I had the pockets to buy one now. They're going for a boatload of money these days, but uh, I digress. So again, Kaylee's gonna be helping us out on the channel. Let us know what you think about this car in the comments section. Make sure that uh, you tell us what you think about the wheel size. I want you to go back to that video. Look up G80 M3. You'll see the thumbnail. It'll be a white M3 um, for our channel. And it's going to be our car where I say that I'm not really into the fitment. And I want you to compare the two. Let us know if you like this setup better or if you like the setup that we did on our car, which was the HREs, 20s in the front and 21s in the rear. Make sure you follow us, subscribe, hit the bell icon so that whenever we upload a video, you guys get notified. And you'll see this car on our website as well. Go to www.wheelsboutique.com, go to our gallery, go to BMW M3. This should be the very first one that pops up because we always uh, upload it and the newest ones will always be at the top of the page. So without uh, further ado, I'll end this video, wrap it up a little bit, make sure you comment. Can't wait to see your funny comments and we'll see you guys in the next one.